Now the next item we're going to have is going to be shrimp cacciatore. Uh, I transferred the a sauce into a smaller, lower pot so that you can see what the uh, color of this looks like and the consistency. And uh, this is all done. Now we're going to put this on the back so you'll be able to see uh, the uh, shrimp cacciatore. This is the marinara sauce which we're going to use in the, in the shrimp cacciatore. And uh, basically the cacciatore is going to be the same whether you use chicken, whether you use shrimp, whether you use veal. Uh, cacciatore is just uh, the items cut up, sautéed with the marinara sauce. Uh, if we were going to use chicken cacciatore, we'd be, be cooking the chicken first because it takes longer than the shrimp. In this particular case, uh, the peppers and the mushrooms are going to take longer than the shrimp, so we're going to start, start them first. Then we take some peppers and we cut them about so. Hold on. Hold on, we'll get to you. Now, as I was saying, we're going to start the peppers and mushrooms first because they're going to take a little longer than the onions and the shrimp. And cut that like so. Tonight when we're eating this, uh, Kathy loves mushrooms. So I always add a little more, but if it was doing this for uh, the restaurant, uh, the mushrooms would be, oh, maybe one third of what I've got in there. All right, now. Add some pepper. 
to add some garlic. Very little, just a pinch. You don't want the garlic to overpower any of the other items. And we're going to take some parsley. Now, as a rule, I would use fresh parsley, but since I'm out, I'm going to be using the dehydrated or the dried parsley. Staying away from the salt, because a lot of people are on a salt-free diet at the present time. As you see, how nice that's coming. Now, the shrimp are a smaller size. Uh, in a restaurant, we usually use uh, a 16 to 20 shrimp. These are about 30 to 35, so we're adding a little bit more. Now, they've already been cleaned and deveined, and they're fresh. They aren't, well, they're fresh frozen. Uh, they aren't the uh, PDQ, and we're going to be adding the shrimp. Now, when they get to be a pink color, we're going to add wine. And another thing, cooking on an electricity stove, uh, it's a little bit slower than a gas stove. <coughs> I like to have this cook real fast, and when I add my wine, I like to see a flame come up to burn out the alcohol. But on an electric stove such as this, we well, aren't going to get that effect. Now uh, it's just turning pink now. And we're going to add our wine, which is a Marsala, California Marsala. Uh, I find that the Italian Marsala is too thick and too sweet. But again, if your preference is the Italian, go right ahead and use it. Now we let the alcohol cook out of there. Not a sauce which we had made before, and we put that in. And there we have shrimp cacciatore. Whoopsie daisy, shrimp cacciatore. And as I said, it could be it could be uh, chicken cacciatore or veal cacciatore or beef cacciatore. Cacciatore is just a style of cooking. And there we have the item. Now this cooks for about five minutes and it's done. You don't want to cook your shrimp. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. Ole! Okay.